Delta Governor Dr. Ifain Okowa on Wednesday said Nigeria needed a new constitution, not an amendment to accommodate emerging issues of good governance and greater interest of Nigerians. Okowa stated this when he received on a courtesy visit the Senate Subcommittee on Review of the 1999 Constitution led by Senator James Manager at Government House Asaba. He said that a new constitution for the country had become imperative in view of observed lunas in the 1999 constitution and called for the insertion of a clause to allow for the rewriting of the constitution while it would continue to be in operation until a new one was ready. There is no doubt that there is still a lot to work on in our constitution to have a near perfect document and i know that the national assembly has continued over time to call some of the amendments to be i thank god that those saints here are familiar with the zone so when the people truly speak they would understand but i also wished that some persons from other zones actually had the opportunity to come down here and hear the voices of our people directly because sometimes we do not understand the extent of the pains that people of the Niger Delta truly suffer in our nation. We believe in one federation, we believe in the unity of Nigeria, but we will you know, continue to ask for strong equity in our federation as a people and I know that the people will really voice out their opinion at the public hearing. We know that some amendments were made recently, but on a general note, we are also aware that the constitution itself appears to have just been hurriedly put together just before the 1999 elections and handed over. I wish it was possible to start the whole process again and to rewrite the constitution and also believe that there may be a need for us to look very closely on ways and means of rewriting the constitution as a new document even when the current constitution exists, Okowa said. He recalled that the process of reviewing the 1999 constitution started in the 7th assembly, but that it was not you know, possible to push it forward because of certain disagreements at that time. Reiterating the necessity of a new constitution for the country, he said, if we look deeply as lawmakers, we would be able to create a window for that purpose because every year or in every assembly, we continue to engage ourselves in one amendment or the other. I think that it is possible to insert a clause that will enable us to truly rewrite the constitution while the current constitution may be operational until the new one is brought into force. In that case, we would not be struggling year in year out trying to amend one clause or the other because there are challenges when it comes to that. The governor urged the National Assembly to look into power devolution to the state's review of revenue allocation formula, oil, diversion and state police in the amendments to enable chairman of revenue mobilization allocation and fiscal commission to lay revenue allocation formula proposal directly before the lawmakers as a state we believe that the way the federal structure is in terms of governance the powers at the federal level or what you call the powers of the presidency are to weighted against the rest of the structures in the state or what you call the sub-national governments. We believe that the exclusive list ought not to be as it is because there are many things in that place that could truly be in the concurrent list. This is because the sub-national governments are much closer to the people and understand truly the pains and needs of their people and they are not you know they are more likely pardon to affect development changes that would be impactful 
on their people, he stated. He regretted that no review had been made to the revenue allocation formula for the past 24 years, whereas it was supposed to be reviewed every five, five years. Okowa said that oil producing states had continued to struggle for the 13% diversion fund and remarked that oil was a wasting asset while the environment where it was being extracted had continued to be polluted and degraded. The 13% is actually too low and we believe it should be reviewed to 50% as it is used to be in the past or allow the states to own the asset and pay tax to the center as applicable in other claims. We are also fully aware that our country is going through tough times with the current insecurity pervading our nation. We believe in the Nigerian police, but to fully secure the land, there is a need for states to have their own police and all the governors of this state are in support of that. The Nigerian police have been stretched beyond the limit and to complement the federal police force, there is a need for the states to have their own police, he added. He assured the committee of the support of the state when recommendations were made from the National Assembly. We are glad that you have come to listen to the people and we hope that when you also speak within the larger committee, that those voices which do not understand the pains of our people will not suppress the voices of our people. It is in the interest of the country that we provide more funds for the development of oil producing states and for them to take care of the degradation of their environment, the governor stated. Earlier, Senator Manager had said that the committee which comprises you know, senators from Edo, Bayesa and Delta was in the state to conduct a two-day public hearing on the amendment of the 1999 constitution he said that aside from the spiritual books the constitution was the most important book for any country manager restated that southern senators had endorsed all the resolution made by the southern governors in the asaba declaration of may 11. the amendment of the constitution is not what can be done by the National Assembly alone, but it involves states, houses of assembly, and other stakeholders. The document is never a perfect one, therefore amendments are inevitable from time to time and in tune with current realities. The public hearing will afford the committee the opportunity to hear from the people and collate their views from onward processing by the Senate, he stated. What is your thought on this that has been said? What is your reaction to this that you have had so far? We have heard audibly from the Delta State Governor who have said Nigeria needed a new constitution, not an amendment to accommodate emerging issues from good governance and greater interest of Nigerians. What is your say to this? Do you think Nigeria needs a new constitution and not an amendment we would like you to share your thought on what has been said we'd like to see your reaction and thought on what okowa have said so far thank you guys for listening do subscribe to this channel if you have not and i will see you on the other news bye for now